presentation on negative pressure wound therapy and the evidence behind it. I'm Stanley McAllen. There is a growing body of research which has evaluated the effectiveness and action of negative pressure wound therapy. Included in this slide is a general definition of negative pressure wound therapy. It is the controlled application of subatmospheric pressure to a wound using a pump to intermittently or continuously convey pressure through the connection tubing to a specialized wound dressing in order to promote wound healing. It's important to note that there are a multitude of products on the market which provide negative pressure wound therapy. Also, the controlled application of subatmospheric pressure is provided by a pump which operates either by electricity, battery, mechanical energy, or a combination of these sources. There is substantial clinical evidence, not necessarily formal research, but clinical evidence, which suggests that negative pressure wound therapy has revolutionized the field of wound management, particularly since the late 1990s. Many clinicians know how to use negative pressure wound therapy, but they're not real sure why they use it, aside from convention. It is imperative that we incorporate best practices into our clinical practice. This includes the use of evidence-based research to substantiate our clinical interventions. If something works, we need to prove it scientifically. Evidence includes controlled clinical trials, which can control for variables and indicate the effectiveness of our treatment. This is more difficult in wound management due to the art and science of our field. Nevertheless, third-party payers and others will require clinical evidence in order to pay for these treatments. Following 12 days of negative pressure wound therapy, one can visibly appreciate the effect of macro strain on the wound tissue. This is perhaps where negative pressure wound therapy impresses clinicians the most. One can visibly see the changes in response to subatmospheric pressure. But really, if you look at this picture, all the proposed mechanisms of action were witnessed in this case, all the things that we've talked about today. The patient's wound remained moist, exudate was removed and evacuated, blood flow was improved as evidenced by the healthy granulation tissue proliferation that filled the defect, edema was reduced as you can tell by the girth of the arm, mechanical deformation and macro strain was visualized because you can tell the just drastic filling of this defect within 12 days, and then there was a bile burden reduction, which was evidenced by decreased bacterial counts when we did tissue samples. So all the different benefits that we've talked about today can be seen in this case study. 1960s, Dr. Winters and others conducted